Hey guys, I'm here to work with uh, Circles today. I just want to help you out to make make it make a little bit more sense and also how to type in uh, this stuff into Desmos because it can be a little tricky at times. So the first thing I want you to do is recognize that this is a circle and not a parabola. Uh, you can tell that it's a circle because there are those, it does cut off. Typically a par parabola continues to go. And the way we're graphing circles, it's just going to be either graphing the top portion of the circle or the bottom portion of the circle. Now in this case, you can tell it's not necessarily a circle just by the fact that it looks more oval shaped and it is taking the form of what we'd call an ellipse. Um, and so we can tell that there's some vertical stretches and there's some horizontal stretches. So the first thing we want to do in order to build this equation is just understand that when we're dealing with a circle, um, we are essentially dealing with transforming this equation right here, one minus x squared. Um, and the center of the circle is going to be right in the center of this ellipse. So one minus x squared is the, the typical circle. And we start by just saying, okay, well, let's find the center. Number one, find center. And I can see that the center is right here at approximately two, two. So when I write this equation, automatically I'm gonna say, okay, well, I know that I have to transform it one minus x minus two squared, and then I have to lift it to two. So remember this minus brings it over to the right two. So there's right two, okay? And then this is up. After that, we just have to go ahead and start making our stretches. So when we talk about the radius, this guy right here has a radius of one. So essentially, if you think about it, there's this, this, and this. There's what the, that's what the parent function would look like if we were to set it right in that spot, okay? And what we need to do at this point is just stretch it. So we take that radius, we can do a horizontal stretch, we take that radius and we need to get this to go there. And it's nice and easy. We just count how, what the radius is essentially. So it goes one, two, three. We've taken that radius and we stretched it out three. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw that in. I'm gonna say, okay, well, I'm gonna put a three here. And now here's the tricky part. I need to extend another set of brackets. And this is gonna be the horizontal stretch. And I want to make sure that that square is around that whole entire piece of x minus 2 over 3. Okay? And then I'm going to go, I'm going to find the vertical stretch. Okay? And I, once again, I look at that radius. Well, the radius is 1. And then I just count it out. So I go 1, 2, 3, 4. And I come over here, and I just put a 4 right out in the front. And there's your vertical. Um, once I do that, I'm going to come over and I'm going to type it in, okay? And I've actually already got it typed in, but I want to walk through the process of it. So I'm going to open up another one. I'm going to say, okay, four. There's two ways of doing the square root. You can actually come down to the keyboard, just press square root, or you can type in SQRT. And I'm going to type one minus, I'm going to open up those brackets. I'm going to open up a second bracket. Put X minus two, there's the shift. I'm going to divide by three, press out and over. Got to put on that uh, last parenthesis, shift six, which will give me the square. You can also use the keyboard. Okay. And then here's the trickiest part. You actually need to press over a couple times until it's full out of that square root. Notice if I type something, notice that if I type something here, it's under the square root have to press over enough to where it is not over and you can see it form and there it is it overlaps okay i hope that helps with this section um y'all have a great afternoon